guys gun crazy here again we uh got the 26 put back together all tuned up lightning trigger about a pound and a half uh today we're gonna take my 27 which is the 26 and 40 cal and i happen to have the one that's od uh, olive drab it's a green polymer frame um we're fixing to take it down we're going to clean up some internals and tune it a little bit and I'll show you what we've got after that. Gun crazy here. I'm going to show you guys what to do to a Glock. I've been asked a million times how I get my Glocks to run so good. Well here it is. We're going to do a quick how to what to kind of video. First thing we're going to start with is the frame. Real simple, put a grip plug, this little piece right here, because Glock has a hole in the back strap. Extended mag release, real simple. There's a little bar down in there, you can see the little silver bar right there. Pull it out, this piece just slides right out, slide a new one in. Pretty simple. Trigger bar. This little guy right here, hooked to the trigger. Unless you're going to a fulcrum trigger system, don't worry about it. All we're gonna do is take a Dremel tool, a little metal polish, make sure you polish up these surfaces, this surface right here, and then polish the bar itself, both sides, front and back, and make sure it's clean. This gun's been shot quite a bit, so make sure it's good and clean. Place the trigger connector with a ghost three and a half pound trigger connector it's this little guy right here it's bent a little bit so when it sets down in this piece right here it doesn't sit flat you know it kind of bends out gives you some trigger weight reduction replace this little spring right here it's your trigger spring go to a six pound the more spring pressure you got pulling on this guy the lighter the trigger will be makes sense if you got somebody helping you out not as much for you to do uh, unless you're in competition we're gonna change this spring right here and change these cups to maritime cups I don't know why but I like knowing my gun will fire underwater these little guys right here you have to pull the spring back you'll notice this whole thing moves see pull that whole thing back and take the spring off the firing pin change it out the firing pin safety spring anytime I do a full tear down I replace it this little things like 79 cents uh, you can actually change the weight of the spring <laughs> changes how much pressure it takes to depress it and this is what this is what releases the firing pin it goes in that hole right there little lever over here on the trigger bar pushes up on it that's what allows the firing pin to move by it. Either way, we're going to polish this surface. Your lock block, you got your Dremel tool out, you got your metal polish out, polish this. Your slides right on these anyway, polish it up. Do yourself a favor. Change this little guy to an extended slide release. Just makes releasing the slide a little easier. Uh, extractor depressor plunger I don't change uh, I change it every year the spring right here once a year factory recommendation and the cover plate the barrel the recoil spring plastic I don't like will be changing with metal and your extractor you notice the slide is empty no, nothing down in there. All gone. Bye-bye. That's where the firing pin comes through. And when you clean this, don't squirt oil on that and scrub it. Because you get oil all over the firing pin. And it gets nasty. See the goo in there? Yeah, we don't want goo in our guns. Goo is not good. So, that's pretty much the upgrades we're going to do. I'm going to get to polishing this guy and this guy and I'm gonna scrub 
these parts uh, make sure they're good and clean uh, polish up the lock block and that's pretty much it we'll put her back together and maybe it won't blow up and kill us until next time that well, let's throw this in there there is a Glock fully disassembled that's about as far as you can take it not too many parts but uh, enough uh, your basic tools you know Glock armor's tool a uh, little flathead screwdriver jeweler style large won't hurt a uh, pair of needle nose must have brush nylon military uh, you can get them at Walmart I don't know what this guy is it comes with some reloading equipment but it holds a scrub brush which I don't use because ta-da we have a boar snake uh, always keep your magnet happy handy but uh, <laughs> clocks are plastic uh, that's pretty much it. We're going to get started on this, get to polishing, and we'll give you an update when we get it all back together.